Adult film actors who recently contracted HIV are now talking about the scandal rocking their industry. As KCAL 9's Louisa Hodd shows us, the performers say the industry needs to do more to protect them. Finding out that you're uh, HIV positive. Cameron Bay tested positive for HIV last month. Asking for a condom on set wasn't really, you know, what you did because you could just be replaced. Bay is one of three newly HIV infected adult film actors to share their stories at this AIDS Healthcare Foundation news conference. Bay's boyfriend, Rod Daly, also in the porn industry, tested positive shortly after she did. A week after somebody tests HIV positive, they're out there shooting, you know, without condoms. And the third HIV infected actor who wanted his identity concealed spoke by speakerphone about how he was denied proper workers' compensation. Patrick Stone was relieved to hear that an email he received on September 10th saying he was HIV positive could be a false positive. While he's waiting for more results, he wanted to speak out against the actions of a San Francisco based internet pornography company he was working for, kink.com. They had me scheduled to, for a shoot tomorrow. And as far as they knew, I was HIV positive. Cameron Bay also spoke out against kink.com, saying a performer she was working with ended up with a cut on his genitals and started bleeding. We continue to work even though he had a cut and we did not use a condom. We contacted the online pornography company kink.com, who responded to these allegations. The founder of kink.com, Peter Ackworth, maintains that, quote, none of those that performed on straight testing mandatory sets contracted nor transmitted HIV on set. But his statement admits, quote, Ms. Bay's shoot caused us concern. While HIV was not transmitted on set, there were incidents on that shoot, including some of the same ones that Ms. Bay identified that have caused us to reevaluate what we permit on shoots. After a two-week moratorium prompted by recent HIV cases, adult film companies can begin shooting again on Friday. They are now required to test for sexually transmitted diseases every 14 days instead of 28. But these adult film actors say that's simply not enough. In Hollywood, Louisa Hodge, KCAL 9 News.